Hey folks, welcome back once again to Photoshop Elements TV. And it's been a while since I produced a video, but I'm your host, Jack. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, why not? Please subscribe to the videos. Folks, today we're going to talk about, I'm sure the title gave it away, is importing pictures, but more of importing camera raw pictures. I want to show you what that looks like, and it's a little scary when you're doing it. So you have to wonder, hmm, can I import camera raw into my Photoshop Elements organizer? Absolutely. Let's go ahead. First of all, we're going to click up on the top here. We're going to click on file, get photos and videos from my camera card or my camera card reader. And this is the import box. We're going to select my card, which is titled untitled. I never did title my card. Here's the first thing we're going to look at. We are going to look at this. See where it says ARW. Now I shoot a Sony a6000 camera. I love it. It's a mirrorless camera. A lot of people when you're out shooting professional uh, photos for people and you're doing weddings or you're doing, they don't, they think it's a point and shoot camera, but it is a solid, very professional camera, just mirrorless. So these are my raw images up here. Now, why did I shoot raw? Because I wanted to capture all of the detail in the photo. So when I come home, I could put them in the, the post editor and I could do a lot more with these. So I turned it onto camera raw. Let me scroll down here in the bottom here. And I want to show you that I also shot strictly JPEG. We happened to be this week, uh, this past weekend, we were in the mountains. We were in the Allegheny National Forest. And we went to see a place called the PA Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. We also went to a place called Elk County to see elk in their natural habitat, right? And you can walk out and you can see the elk. And I'll tell you a little story as we get along here. So the first thing we're going to do here is create a folder where they're going to go. So we're going to go choose and we're going to go to our pictures folder right here, pictures. And you're going to create a folder in here, do new folder, but I already created one called Elk County. All right, you can see I recently imported these photos in here. We're going to try to, no, I, th I think what we're going to do here, we're going to just go and make a new folder, okay, for this demonstration. Elk County underscore two underscore 2022. All right, let's put the month in here. This is in October, so let's do that. 10. All right, now click on create and we'll click open. The next thing is create subfolders. Now you can create subfolders based on custom name. You can do date, times, I don't do any of that. I don't like to create subfolders. We can also rename our files. Now I do rename files when I shoot weddings and then the reception. Makes it easier for the bride and groom to understand that one pictures are the wedding and the other group of pictures are from the reception. But here I'm not going to rename anything. You can name them dates. You can name them custom names. You can do advanced renaming. All kind of great stuff in here. Next, let's go into automatically fix red eyes. I suggest do not do this because it examines every single photo as it's coming into your organizer and tries to see if it has red eyes. Today, modern photography, we don't really get red eye a whole lot. If you do, we can fix that in post. Automatically suggest photo stacks. I'm not going to do that. Sometimes I do based on, you know, if, if it's a vacation and you have 200 photos, maybe I want those stacked. Automatically stack raw and JPEG. Now, since I do have raw and JPEG in here, I could do that and it would stack those up. But we're not going to do that. I just want them in the organizer so I can work on these. Import into an album. Yes, we do want to do this. And all we have to do is go to trips and we're going to create a new album. So go up to new we're going to call this Elk County 2022, hit enter, and click OK. This way, as they come in, I don't have to move them into an album later. They can come in, be organized, be right into a photo album, and we don't have to deal with that later on. After copying, do not delete originals. I never delete the originals because if something should go wrong, you want to be able to be sure that you can go back in here and pull those off that card. So don't delete them just yet. We can delete them. I'd rather format the card in the camera anyway. Apply metadata. So you can have met basic metadata where you have none at all. Okay, let's say basic. And we're going to copyright these Elk County. And the creator here will say the creator was Jack. That's me. And once we do all that, we're going to click on get media. Let's get media. 
It's going to go ahead and import those and put those into our organizer. Now they're going to be organized and they'll be ready to go and they'll be in an album. How great is that? Now, as you can see here, these first photos are the camera raw images. You can see that Photoshop Elements Organizer understands the raw image and they can display it. The only thing I'm showing you is the importer does not understand those, so you can't see it in the importer, but don't be scared and think there's something wrong because it's perfectly normal. Some of these photos here, uh, you can see them coming in here, uh, like right here. This is a picture of a rather big elk. And uh, we took these photographs. We actually walked up in the woods and we got pretty close, probably closer than we should, right? We're talking real low. And my wife looks over to me and she goes, we're supposed to be 100 yards away. Well, we were less than 100 yards here. Obviously, you can see that. Uh, it didn't seem like the elk really, mind, uh, really minded a whole lot. They were like, okay, we're just chilling out here. Uh, we're not bothering them. They, they know we weren't uh, any threat. It's a very protected area for these elk. And they see people all the time walking around. So yeah, you can see them back in there. And I'll probably go ahead and crop these even more and clean these up a little bit and make it look like they're even bigger. So maybe I get some uh, nice wall art going on here. But you can see there's actually a doe lane here, right here by the second tree. There's the bull elk with the big horns. And then there's the uh, doe lane back here in the back. So if we go through a couple of these, those look like branches. And I took them further away just to see, can we see anything else in the woods? And it's, it's funny how big those animals are and how well they're hidden. This was the PA Grand Canyon. Now I shot these on JPEG format. So I don't have to do anything special when I pull these into the editor. But I uh, wish I would have bought my wide angle lens before I went. You know, if you're ever doing any photography stuff and you're going away on a trip and you think, I want this certain lens, don't wait until three days before you leave. Order it early on so you'll have that lens in your bag. I do not have a wide angle lens here. So I shot these all uh, with my kit lens with my Sony a6000 they didn't turn out bad they're pretty impressive i'll probably fix the skies up a little bit i'll color these up a little bit better uh, but you can see the trees are starting to change here in october in pennsylvania so it was pretty cool so i hope that this video has helped you out there to understand importing camera raw pictures it's not hard it's very doable very easy and i suggest that you uh just take your time with it also make sure if you buy a new camera make sure to upgrade your Photoshop elements. And I would tell you the reason that is, is to make sure you have the most, most current raw image editor in uh, Photoshop elements because each raw editor includes new cameras is what I'm talking about. So if you buy a new camera, it's not working, update the camera raw. And I think you'll be just fine at that point. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. And until next time, as always, remember... Keep those shutters clicking. Keep your editors editing. And again, if you're not subscribed, why not? Hit that subscribe button. I'm Jack. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. I'll see you then. Bye for now.